It's a three on one. It's Draymond. Draymond Draymond. Draymond. After a 5-0 preseason, which included a breakout start from Jordan Poole, a 41-piece from Steph, and efficient play from Otto and Bielitsa, the Warriors are set for another deep playoff run. Factoring in the return of Iguodala, plus the roster's overall depth, and Golden State's dynasty still has a chance at resuming. It's evident that Bob Myers put together a legit squad for this year, and with Klay Thompson returning around December, just how special could this 21-22 Warrior squad become? Stick around to find out. Right before that, according to YouTube's analytics, 28.2% of you watching this video aren't subscribed, so if you're in that percentage, please subscribe. We're really close to 50k, so it'd be greatly appreciated. To get you all caught up, last year, the Warriors came up one win away from making the playoffs, losing to LeBron and the Lakers, followed by John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies in the play-in tournament. Steph Curry had an MVP season, adding his second scoring title, edging out Bradley Beal for the league lead in points per game. Unfortunately, in terms of the Warriors' success, it was a wasted prime year for Steph, who had limited consistent support around him. Well-rounded offensive role players like Andrew Wiggins, Damian Lee, and the at-the-time sophomore Jordan Poole were decent, but the roster didn't have the scoring depth to make the playoffs. However, on the bright side, there were no problems on the other end of the court, as Draymond Green was first-team all-defense, and he kept the Warriors as a respectable defensive squad. The Dubs ranked number five in the NBA last season in defensive rating. They were the only team in the top 10 of that area who didn't make the playoffs. All Steph and the Warriors fan base were looking for was some legit bucket getting firepower. The Warriors front office upgrades, which we'll get to, along with the growth of Jordan Poole, have filled a gaping hole for the Warriors. Poole came into training camp this year with a much more well-built physique, and much more well-rounded dribble combinations and three-point mechanics. In other words, the man put in endless reps in the gym over the summer. Since being selected 29th overall in 2019, Poole's proved himself as a late-round steal, making steady progression as a backup point guard throughout his first two pro campaigns. As you're seeing from the highlights, Jordan seems to have become splash brother number three. Beastly averages of 23 points, three and a half assists on 51.6% from the field and 40% from three made him the preseason's breakout player. The kid's crafty, explosive, and he can pop it with confidence from deep range. Last year, Curry would get blitzed in the pick and roll and without Clay for the last two seasons really, he's been vulnerable to box and one defensive sets. Now, opponents can't overextend their game plan geared towards stopping the chef. They've got to focus on getting wet by the pool. It was only the preseason, but if Jordan can carry that production over to the regular season, just how good can the Warriors be? It's a scary sight for the rest of the West if Poole is truly the third splash bro, because the return of Thompson's a matter of months away, giving the Warriors a three-headed monster that no one wants to face in the postseason. Combined with Poole's sudden growth into a potential star, to help with 2021's lack of offense around Curry, general manager Bob Myers acquired Otto Porter Jr. and Nemanja Bialica. Every other GM in the league thought Porter Jr. was injury prone and washed up since his days in Washington. The preseason numbers say otherwise, as in only 18 minutes over five games, Otto posted 13 points per game on 50% shooting. Most impressively, from three-point range, Otto took six attempts from out there and drained an absurd 55% of those shots. But the key for the 28-year-old is staying healthy over the 82-game grind in postseason. Can he stay on the floor is the biggest concern. If he can and regains the form he had during his prime wizard days next to Beal and Wall, Golden State could have a special perimeter weapon. Per 48 minutes, Otto just averaged 33.2 points per game. Then there's the stretch four and small ball five Nemanja Bialica. 
the perfect fit for both the modern NBA and the Warriors offense. Like Otto, Professor Big Shots is also looking stellar early on for the dubs. 10 point per game averages on 45% shooting and 44% from three signified the ideal fit that Nemanja can be in Steve Kerr's system. His floor spacing next to Curry, Poole, and eventually Thompson is going to be crucial all year, and I expect Nemanja to become a fan favorite in the Bay. As much as I went in depth on those three players, at the heart of it all, there's three three-time NBA champions and perennial all-stars slash all-NBA talents, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, and Stephen Curry. Each of them mean just as much as the other in their own right, providing fundamental qualities that contribute equally to a championship. Of course, Steph's the MVP of the team and debatably the league year in, year out. However, Curry's mastery wouldn't get the recognition that it does to this day without Clay and Draymond being there to keep his team at the top of the West. Having said that, let's give some recognition to Steph's recent mastery dropping a 41 piece on 13 for 23 shooting to go along with nine rebounds, Curry displayed zero signs of approaching father time against the Blazers. It's a scary sight when Curry decides he's going to just incinerate anyone who's in front of him like a bag of popcorn left in the microwave for five minutes too long. Curry's had at least four games with 40 plus points against Portland over the regular season and playoffs, including a career high 62 points. He's truly ripped apart Rip City in his career. Coming out of the half, Curry was still firing on all cylinders. He played the entire third quarter and dropped 20 points carrying the dubs to an explosive 43-point quarter. Out of nowhere, the Warriors were en route to another preseason blowout victory. Curry's gonna turn 34 next March, and it's been more than three years since he last won an NBA title, a span longer than most NBA careers. Yet all of that pressure and expectation falls away whenever he takes over a game. With the regular season right around the corner, Curry made sure to hypnotize Warrior fans right before the game started to matter. So how special could this 21-22 Warrior team become? Are they simply going to make some noise in the regular season and win a round or two in the playoffs? Or is championship number seven for the organization a real possibility this year? This of course won't be the easy role for a title like Warrior fans experienced back in 2017 and 2018. Having said that, this year's squad has a 2015 type feel to it. Let me know your thoughts on the 21-22 Warriors in the comments. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.